Feldy, everybody. Give it up for Jen. Why they didn't tell you the door press one for English? <laughs> All right, uh, ah! <laughs> I can't see. It's not my real hair. It's not my real hair. <laughs> and uh, the truth is, my name is Jennifer Lee Spellman. and I'm the one that governors invited to tell you some jokes today. Yes. So I, I, the truth is that a lot of people think I'm a dominatrix. This is totally true. I, I post for one magazine spread. How to be a dominatrix? Well, I'm not a dominatrix. I don't like telling people what to do. But I know who does. Governor Cuomo. Yes. <laughs> Governor Cuomo with the nipple ring. He's always telling people what to do. When he's having sex, I always bet he sounds like my arousal rate is 3.2. <laughs> if we're gonna reach orgasm, you're gonna need to spread your legs at least six feet apart. <laughs> Leave your blindfold on and trust me. Trust the science. Oh no, yes. Uh, you know, Cuomo seems like a lot of fun. I don't know what all those women were complaining about. Just say thank you. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of role models, I think we should get rid of Kamala. Nothing gets Kamala, but we should put in Bill Cosby. Because Bill Cosby puts people to sleep, and Joe Biden is asleep. And after 2020, I just really need a nap. Cosby Biden. <laughs> Sleepier. Cosby Biden. Cosby Biden. <laughs> <laughs> but the Huxtable, please, would you hurt my blonde hair and legs? But the Huxtable, please, hurt my blonde hair and legs. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so my mom told me that Cosby's back in the news. It's true. He was offered 10 years off his sentence if he goes to sexual counseling. Like, sexual counseling so he can get better at having sex with people while they're asleep. <laughs> No, but he didn't take the deal. So he's staying in jail for 10 more years. True. You know why? Because he found a lover. That's right. Bill Cosby finally found someone who wants to have sex with him while they're awake. <laughs> Dr. Huxtable, I'm good for a plastic exam. Please, would you put your jello fuzz pudding pop in my earthy highlight? <laughs> Well, I'm an only child, so I'm entertained. <laughs> um, so sleep, I love sleep, and that's one of the reasons why I won't get married, 100% true. The people always ask me, Jen, why don't you get married? Why don't you get married? Married? I don't want a roommate. When I wake up in the morning, all I want to hear is... Nothing. Nothing. I want to hear nothing. But I was married recently. Um, and it was going, it was going well, and she, you know, it was going well, but then it got really confusing because he shaved his head, and he didn't look tough guy bald, like Joe Rogan bald, or Vin Diesel bald, or, it just, he looked sickly, he looked like one of those kids who's the benefactor of a charity 5K walk. <laughs> yeah, so, it was really confusing, because the night he shaved his head, you know, he had all this hair, and he, you know, voluntarily, he's a, he's a healthy guy, so don't feel bad for him, he's very healthy, just text me, don't worry. And, uh, but I'm walking around my house, and I'm high on edibles, as I am every night, I will be later, it's the nightly protocol, and I'm leaning back with a plate of food on my stomach, that's how I eat like an otter, otters eat like this, a little discovery health, they get food all over themselves, I'll be doing this later, you can come on by, don't worry, I like to eat them. Anyway, so I'm sitting on my couch, and I'm high on edibles, and I'm just like, watching this sickly bald guy, really bald, walk around my house and just walking around, just walking around, just walking around. I'm just like, what do you think this is? St. Jude's Hospital? <laughs> I didn't know whether I should fuck him or throw him a donation. So, uh, you know, so he did look like an authentic skinhead. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's, let's do some role plays. Anyone done a role play? Anyone done? Well, I never have because he wouldn't do it. So, we both had it sexually, and they're like, come on, give me a little Nazi. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, come on, give me a little, you're true, you're true, you're true. Yeah, we're good. Um, 
and then did. So we finish, and I'm not sure if I should be happy because I'm with the guy who's too respectful to play Nazi with me. Or should I be sad because the guy's too respectful to play Nazi with me? Doesn't every Jewish girl just want a nice guy to play Nazi with her? <laughs> and I'll leave you with this. If you want to know if a girl will sleep with you, you give her the old McDonald's test. If she'll eat McDonald's, she'll probably eat you. Because people who eat McDonald's, well, don't put anything in their mouths. Alright, this is me, so have a good night. Jen Feldy, everybody. Jen Feldy. Give it up for Jen Feldy. I kind of want McDonald's now. Or maybe Burger King, I'm not sure.